Welcome back to the Electrician's Channel. Let's talk about uh, my Fluke 376 clamp meter, True RMS, uh, digital clamp meter by Fluke. To, uh, today I'm going to tell you how much I love this instrument and how much I, and the things I don't like about it also. Uh, for y'all, for Many of y'all who've been been in electrical field for a long time, you know Fluke is a is a reputable name, and uh, I haven't heard really one thing bad about Fluke. Um, I love using this meter also; um, it gives me accurate readings. I feel safe while using it. It's built really well. Uh, the safety rating is high. Um, it's it's just a a good multimeter, and it's been around for a long time, and trusted by a lot of a lot of uh, electricians. Um, I'm gonna start off by telling you some of the features on it. Uh, again, this is a tr the, this is not the uh, this is not the one with the uh, Bluetooth. This is an earlier version. I don't have the Bluetooth yet, and um, I don't see myself getting one anytime soon. Uh, I really don't need that feature. It come in it, it it comes in handy, but I don't really need that feature at the time at, right now. Uh, these meters don't come cheap and this one works fine I don't and if I was to buy a new one what I'm gonna do with this old one you know and this thing's still in perfectly good condition uh, so uh, if I had a choice between before I bought this one to buy the Bluetooth of course I would have bought the Bluetooth because I can use it uh, but I can still use this meter also well anyway let's get back into the features that this meter has um, this meter is it's a it's it's true RMS. It's AC current, DC current. It's a, it has AC, uh, AC voltage, DC voltage, uh, resistance, frequency, capacitance, continuity, hold. It has a backlight. It has the min max average feature, inrush current. It has a low pass filter, and it has an 18 inch. Um, iFlex flexible current probe. It comes with a CAT2 1000 volt rating and a CAT4 600 volt rating. Now, with all that being said, I'm going to just go through some of the functions on it and take a look at it. And, and uh, that'll sum up my video. Uh, again, I can't stress enough how much I love this amount, this clamp meter. This is the, this, well, it comes with when you buy this meter, it comes with this pouch right here. Come, but this is the iFlex 18 inch. This is the iFlex probe right here. Comes with this. It comes in this case right here. This flute case, which is a nice case, comes in. Uh, the flute meter comes with these. No, it don't. It, it don't come with these t test leads right here. In fact, it comes with these test leads right here. And these are the ones you can adjust. And it comes with those small uh, alligator clips. But um, I do have them, but I choose not to use them. But these these are the probes that it comes with. Um, now, uh, I bought some more fluke leads because I like to add accessories to it. I have different accessories that I like to add to my meters when I'm uh, whatever work I'm doing or wherever I'm working at. But these are the, this is the uh, fluke leads also that I keep with this meter. These two right here, or or these are. Um, receptacle probes. I don't know if you can see from there, but they're kind of flat. They're, they're made specifically for receptacle. They're flat. That they're, they're, they're like blades. So they're slide inside of the receptacle. Um, so they're made for that. And they have, so when you put it, so also they have a little feature uh, flat on the tip right here. If you lay it somewhere, it won't roll off. It'll, uh, it'll just stay in, stay in one spot area like that. And you know, that, that, that's nice to have. These, they didn't, it didn't come with this also. It just came with this, uh, these test leads, those, those uh, allig small alligator clips, this current, there's an uh, iFlex uh, current probe right here, meter in the bag. That's about it. I've added all of this stuff here. These are fluke. This, this is the fluke um, large alligator clips. And I prefer using these instead of those other small ones. I like, I like these right here. And these right here, they fit on on there. So, also, um, these are 
uh, this is by Fluke also. It's called Probe Extenders. Um, you don't want to put your hand inside of the panel um, for safety reasons. You may want to add this onto your probe. Add this on uh, this probe on, on that probe and extends it. And you can stand out and probe whatever circuits that you're probing. It keeps your hand from being up here while you're making probes. I mean, uh, make, uh, uh, taking readings. And I think this is a good, nice safety feature. Um, okay. Um, one more thing I did add to my, uh, that I use also for my accessories, it would be this. I use these these probes right here. Uh, it's very seldom I use these, I, but I do use these for receptacles. But when I'm doing, mainly I use these right here. Now these are like this, uh, those of you may know or may not know what these are. These are fused uh, test probes and they're made by Fluke. There's a lot of other companies that make them out there too, but I, I do trust Fluke uh, products. So uh, let me just show you how it looks on the inside to give you an idea what size fuse that, uh, that would uh, protect you. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a fuse inside of the meter, uh, the meter that you use by Fluke. And we know we think about always protecting the, uh, the meter, but we have to think about ourselves also what's protecting us because the voltage has to come through the probes to get to the meter. And I want every bit of safety that I possibly can get. So I use these pro I use these probes all the time, and there you have it. And I do my uh, my measurements with this. Uh, you guys out there, uh, I suggest if you uh, I'm not going to say if you can afford it, but if, because if you're in this trade, uh, you should be making enough money. I hope that you are making enough money where you should be able to purchase your pair just for safety reasons, you know, so that you'll go home safely. And then uh, after your work and go home to your family safe and in one piece. Um, but there's no price that you can put on your life. So uh, I suggest that you get some of the fuse probe, probes right here by Fluke. Also, uh, some of these extended extension probes also by Fluke. And, um, and sometime when I'm in a panel, even though I can clip this onto a... a some wires. Oftentimes, I use this too because I have a magnet that I that come off that I use for one of my multimeters that I normally the the um, the magnetic strip strap. I put it in there, and I put this on the on the side of the meter. I mean, on the side of the panel, or away from the panel, as far as this will let me go, and I'll take a current reading or something like that. Very seldom I I'll put this into a panel, and uh, I'll be looking at it like this, you know, trying to uh, get a reading very dangerous um, but I'm gonna turn it on let y'all see some of the features the backlighting what have you okay as I come on this is the that's the backlight it only have one setting so that's what you get right here um, here's the min max feature right here this is the in rush feature I'll put it on amps to get in rush. That's right. And uh, in rush, in rush feature, I flex feature would be right here, and this goes in here just like, like so. And that's when you're taking your readings for. Uh, with the matter of fact, let me just take it a little, so you guys can see. For those who don't know. Um, you will wrap this around your cable like so if this was a cable you put it back in there tighten it and you're on your way you put that put that put it on there the eye flex that's for um it's your eye flex right there reading and selection so selection right there but um this multimedia is packed with a lot of uh features there's a whole button on the side. Um, it's flute, built to last. It's built to last. Um, I like this multimeter. Um, I like it a lot. I keep it on the truck with me, in my truck. Um, 
One of my viewers told me, why do your tubes be so clean? Because I take care of my tubes. Like the day I'm off, I get some of these wipes and I clean my tubes off. I mean, just because my tubes are not filthy and dirty and my insulated screwdrivers are not beat up and they're all chipped up doesn't mean that I don't get dirty. I, my tubes do get dirty. But they don't function properly when you have dirt all in, that's stuck all in down here, inside of here and you're not cleaning it right. And you got duck dirt all between here. You can't make the perfect contact. Um, just can't make per a good contact. And, you know, it plays a part. You know, when you got you to keep your stuff clean, you know, to, uh, you know, to get the proper readings. So, you know, I, 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 when I'm home doing nothing, uh, watching television, I get me some wipes. And I'll wipe my tubes off. In fact, I was just doing some earlier. This is a wipe right here. And I just wipe all the dirt off my tubes. You know, and I just clean them off. So uh, that's what I do. So uh, I'm not going to call out the guy's name, but but I clean my tubes. And, and they last a long time. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. My tubes makes me money. And uh, I don't make money just to continue going out and buy, rebuying the same tubes over and over and over again. My tools that I have last me for years and for years and for because I take care of my tools. I don't loan my tools, but I do take care of my tools. And my tools can't take care of me. But back to this. Um, my I like this flute. I like it. And if you guys uh think about buying a multimeter, you can't go wrong with a fluke. You cannot go wrong with a fluke. So, with that being said, uh that's the end of this video. I thank you guys for stopping by. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And so you can receive future notifications when my next video is coming up. Or hit that like button. Um, so, um, and, or, and or leave a comment. And if you leave a comment, I'll try my best to uh, get right, uh, respond to you as soon as I can. But I will respond to you. In the meantime, fellas. Y'all be safe. Peace out.